In this video we will learn how to fix best 2020 error unable to initialize steam api on windows so, so let's this issue of unable to initialize the steam api on pass it is really simple just go in the description and there will be a link to this site and you need to just go and click on that link and you will be redirected here once you are here just scroll down below and here we need to uh, download uh, the dll file so here you can see we have only 32 bit DLL file so you need to download any version of that so try to download the latest one so for example this is seems to be the latest one and here just go and click on download so it would take us to this screen that is steam API and it would start downloading in few moments so here click on start download so we have completed the download now you need to check what kind of system you have is it 32 bit or is it 64 bit so for that what you need to do is just go and open your explorer and here right click on your this pc and here click on properties and in the properties against the system type you can see what kind of system you have so i have 64 bit operating system so now go to your downloads we will solve the problem for 32 bit as well as 64 bit operating systems so in the compressed you can see we have this steam api zip extract it click on ok and here we are now what you need to do is just go and open it and copy this dll file first we would solve the problem for 32 bit operating systems for that just go and open your local disk C or wherever you have installed your windows and here go to windows scroll down below and search for system 32 so here we have system 32 open it and paste the uh, paste the DLL file here paste it here click on continue let's go back we have solved the problem for 32 bit operating system now we would solve the problem for 64 bit operating systems so here we are first copy the DLL file go to your windows folder and here paste the DLL file in a folder with the name of sys wow64 here we are paste it here click on continue now go back and paste this DLL file in system32 as well paste it here now the problem has been solved for 64 bit operating systems as well so hope it has helped you but before you go please like subscribe and share thank you